Uh, right now on display here is the drone box. It is one of the initiatives of uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed Barajid during the, the, during the strategy of 2021 to 2022. Uh, the idea of uh, placing these boxes strate strategically all over Dubai is to cut down the response time. The critical response time will be cut down from 4 minutes to 1 minute and the normal response time from 15 minutes to 5 minutes. That's a difference of 70%. Uh, by 2025, we will have 22 of these boxes strategically placed all over Dubai. It will cover uh, an area of 80 square kilometers, the urban urban area of Dubai. And it ha each box has a radius of 5 kilometers. So it, it, it can fly uh, up to a diameter of uh, 10 kilometers. This is a self-contained system. There are 11, 11 batteries and 9 different payloads inside. The payloads could be cameras, uh, sensors, and medical equipment. The, the robotic arm inside, it automatically changes the batteries and uh, the, the different uh, payload. We have used this drone box at the expo site for six months, non-stop, deliver our surveillance and they did very well. Excellent. What does it mean for the security and safety for the people of Dubai? And implementing such drones, this implementing is an amazing such, technology. Implementing right? such remotely controlled yes. systems all over Dubai gives us a sense of security. We know what's going on and where it's going on and how it's going on before uh, the physical before the office arrives there. Today, when police patrols they move to an area, they have to, they have to go to, through traffic that increases the critical response time and the normal response time. Today, when they, in, in the future, when there will be uh, any kind of incident, the aircraft will take off from different locations and will move there and give us an overwatch so that the decision makers back at the police headquarters they can they can decide what to do next, what type of teams to send. Of course, this doesn't mean that we will wait for the drone to reach and then move. Hmm. Definitely, all the moves, teams will be moving, and this gives us, gives us a faster approach. Like today, when we talk about critical response times of up to four minutes, every second counts. In the future, when it comes down to one minute, it will be a huge difference. It will make a, lo a lot of difference regarding security of people and property, lives. Integrating artificial intelligence in these drones means that today this drone it can scan a huge crowd and then give us all, all the facial recognition information plus the number plates. See, you can see here the drone goes over there and gives the feed. See, right now you can see the, the vehicles. They recognize the, the, the vehicles involved, they are being recognized. All this real time data is being sent to the teams that are involved. So we don't have to go there and manually or I mean, physically do it. It can be done automatically. So this is real time. It real is real time. It is. it is. Like and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon for notifications from the blue dot AE.